Hey everyone, I'm going to do a quick video today on UV. I'm going to talk about the Procure, our entry level model, and our Ultra Cure, the more premium version. So, what we want to do is a visual test, which is going to show you that the Procure, if you follow the technical data sheet and give it enough time at the right distance, will do the same job as the Ultra Cure or any premium torch on the market. So don't listen to what's going on in the comments and Facebook and people that know certain things. I'm gonna actually show you with a visual test that the cheaper torches, not just mine, can do the same as a premium torch. So let's check it out. I'm gonna go through some of the differences between our more budget-friendly Paintex Procure UV torch and our sort of premium Ultra Cure. And to do this, I'm gonna use the Spectral UV Spotlight Putty. Um, this is actually a blue putty, and it dries grey. Just get a little splodge there. Put the cap back on so I don't ruin my table. Now what this does with UV light, it will it's got like a cure indicator by it changing colour. Very easy to see. So what I'll do, get that out of the way is using our premium torch and my safety specs, of course, show you how quickly this will cure. And in a matter of seconds, that blue has turned to gray. And again, that's, what you would expect from a premium high-end torch. Now, our Paintex Procure is more of an entry-level, sort of budget-friendly version, and it's perfect for the job. Don't believe anybody that says they're not powerful for the job or any of the, the sort of slightly cheaper models, not just mine, scan grip do a range from a cheaper version to a more premium version. But if we apply the same is it the same? I'll put a little more on, just to be true. Because thickness will, of course, be a difference. If I put this on way thinner, then I'm just cheating, really. But we will do it right. So the difference is, according to the TDS sheet, this takes one minute. So you want to give it one minute. Although my large torch will do it in a couple of seconds, that's because you've bought a high-end torch. The Procure will take a minute. So I'm going to set up the timer. If I can do it. So one minute on full power. And you want to be about 10 centimetres away. But again, this is great because of the visual indicator. Once it dries, it'll be rock hard like this, but it just takes longer. <coughs> I'll fast forward this so you ain't got to sit through it all. But again, just always follow your TDS. There's nothing wrong. If you haven't got the money for a thousand pound torch, then by all means, buy something like this or the scan grip. This is similar to the Nova, their, their square one. And you want to be in much tighter because that increases the UV intensity. So if I'm up here, no good. You'll, you'll It will still look like it's doing the same thing, but the intensity is much less. So always keep that in mind when you're doing these um, kind of repairs. So we're coming up to the minute. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about here because of the... Intensity. I'm not sure how well you can see that. This is now rock hard. So, although the much more powerful torch has saved me a couple of seconds, the Procure gets the job done. It's the same with primers. It's the same with UV clears. Don't don't be fooled by. Um, some comments and things that you see on Facebook and all these guys that know what they're talking about. There's a visual representation. This was blue. Now they are both the same, I would say the same level of grey. And that's because they're both fully cool. You can sand these now, no problem. So budget friendly, 
you'll want our Paint Text Pro Cure. And if you've got some money lying around and you want the big dog, by all means, get the Ultra Cure. But this will get the job done. Just follow the TDS, guys. In conclusion, I just want to mention that the Pro Cure is absolutely brilliant for smart repairs and small areas. But if you are doing larger repairs, you do want to look at a bigger lamp like the Ultra Cure or some of the other larger models on the market with a much higher output. Not that the Pro Cure won't do the job, you'll just end up moving the torch around for a long time. I'll pop up a little example while I'm talking, but you don't want to be sat too long drifting the torch over the top. So if you can keep your repairs to a small area the size of your hand, Ultra Cure is probably a bit overkill. So we'd, we'd recommend Pro Cure for that. But if you're going to be doing different size jobs day in, day out, and you're looking for speed, then the Ultra Cure is the way. If not, Pro Cure's perfect. So thanks for your time and thanks for listening to me waffle on. But uh, I'll see you in the next one.